Hi, Kevin back at Fast Tracks here. I'm with Tim with his 2015 Stingray Very Custom Corvette. Hi, Tim. Tell me about your car. Well, we were bored last winter, so my buddy and I decided let's pull it apart and start customizing it. So we did. <laughs> so we got a little carried away. Kept going. It was a long winter. Absolutely. Tell me a little bit about how you got carried away. Well, we did. We ended up. We we didn't pull anything apart inside, but the uh, the body. We made some changes on the nose and the hood. Uh, more aggressive look for it. And then the, the back, of course, we had to put that big silly spoiler on. Yeah. You can't have a Corvette without a spoiler. So. Need a wing. That's right. Need a wing. But keep it down. Yeah. Is it lowered as well? Uh, actually, we raised it. We raised had, it? We had to raise it because when we put the new clip on, it was too low. You couldn't even get your toe under there. Yeah. So. It's not drivable then. Well, it was, but it would, we'd have to redo it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was pretty low. So yeah. we, we pulled it up about an inch and a half. Okay. Yeah. It's good to go. New suspension. No, actually, it uh, comes with an ability to just uh, tighten some bolts under there and it'll lift. Excellent. So we were pretty lucky that way. That's fantastic. Yeah. Anything to the engine? Nothing. We left it stock. We didn't want to pull anything apart. I uh, usually don't like to do that. Mm -hmm. uh, it's got enough horsepower anyway. So. Yeah. Right. Looks beautiful. You've got Thank some you. aftermarket uh, caps on and stuff like that. Yep. All, that all that stuff we brought in from the U.S. Mm -hmm. uh, ACS composites yeah. for the hood. And yeah. Redline, cheap plug for Kevin over at Redline in St. Albert, mm -hmm. uh, my paint guy. Yeah. Great, great uh, job on it. Yeah. And uh, he'll take care of me. He'll yeah. Take good care of me. Yeah. Factory paint? Stock? Uh, no, no. Nope. Kevin, uh, Kevin did the hood. Uh, the hood comes in prime, but it wasn't wasn't okay. the best best job. So he right. got in there and sanded it all out. Same thing with the nose. Right. Uh, but he did an amazing job of blending the torch right in for me. And Matching the fenders and everything else. Job, yeah. yeah, just looking at it, I can't tell the difference, no, which no. is He's awesome. A, it's a chrome. Yeah, yeah, I did. And then uh, Sony Plane Chrome did the, uh, did the uh, top of the engine for me. We were going to dip it, and he went, no, no, don't, don't. Let's paint it. And I said, oh, yeah, no. Off we went. Everybody's dipping, so, and we didn't want to do what everybody That's else right. was doing. So. Yeah, and if the paint can hold up to the heat, why not? And it does. It does a good job. Yeah, and these guys, they're amazing. Like both, uh, both painting groups, uh, just outstanding. I'm really yeah. happy with the team. And, Excellent. Yeah. yeah. You're the original owner of the car, obviously. No, nope, no. Nope. Oh, okay. uh, I bought it last spring, and uh, it was a, just a stock C7 Z51, and yeah. started doing research, and went, oh, we can. It's a good platform to start customizing. So we Absolutely. started pulling her apart and cutting into it and doing a this and that and came out pretty good We're, i think i think it did anyway well i'm going to just pan around here a little bit i see there's something between us here that you've done to the car that's oh yeah a little more doors. unique yeah you've uh, yeah. done some lamborghini doors uh, actually my, my buddy rob sitting over there helped yep. out with the work well we did uh vertical lift doors on it uh, very very smooth we, we were very nervous about how hard that was going to be yeah and it wasn't it you know if you're if you're careful and slow and pay attention yeah yep never had a measure problem. twice measured a few times a couple shots of whiskey measure again <laughs> <laughs> you always have a you always have something before you start cutting into your corvette of course yeah and her light door to start off with so yeah, there's not really yeah. much worry there no i can it's not hard to lift them up and down yeah. so. And the hinges are very significant. So yeah. vertical lift is a, the uh, in, the industry standard for that. Yeah, uh, that's fantastic. And otherwise, everything else is stock, uh, interior and everything else. I didn't. Uh, no, the only thing we changed out in the interior was the steering wheel. It was, yeah. Uh, it was decadent. I had to do it. Uh, we put a racing steering wheel in. Yep. Uh, from Viprez. Excellent. Yeah. All right. And so do you drive it daily. Yeah, during the summer, it's yeah. it's not a go to work car, but we do drive it all the time. Uh, right. Yeah, I don't I don't park my cars. So. I it's a good thing. I know yeah. a lot of people here do. I mean, it's un understandable, but I mean, cars. I always believe like that's the chance about is enjoying your cars, right? So well, I don't know. Like I'm on that way. I don't know why you would. You own the car. Buy the car and keep it unless you were collecting, and I only have a double garage, so yep. I'm driving it. Absolutely. You know, it's it's a beautiful car to drive. It drives fine, obviously. Beautiful. Even raised an, an inch and a half or so, it's still no All balanced no out beautifully yep. and uh, smooth as silk. Good. Yeah. Yeah. Put a lot of effort and time into it. I we spent uh, we spent every weekend since October, uh, since Halloween. We started pulling the trigger on buying stuff. Uh, 
I guess about Halloween, and, and you know that was the other thing. The supply chain was terrible at that time. Yeah. But Vicres and ACS Composites and West Coast Customs were so fast on getting their stuff done. It was incredible. Yeah. Even even coming across the border, yeah. everybody was fantastic. Uh, you know, I mean, what could I say? It was it was actually frightening how fast stuff was piling up in my living room. Really? Yeah, yeah. I was really happy because seeing all the all the supply chain issues throughout right. the years, right. you know, coming yeah. over this, from California up, it's yeah, and that's well, pretty surprising. Like some of the engine components went from uh, from Florida over to Orange County and then here, and yeah. it was like it didn't seem to take any time at all. A few weeks yeah. and and we were throwing it on. So yeah. I don't know if it's the same now, but I'll tell you what, we sure had the delivery luck, if anything. So that's, that's perfect. Yeah. That's perfect. Yeah. And now you enjoy the car. Anything you still want to do to it? Nope, we're done. Uh, we had to have an exit strategy. By, my wife was helping bankroll us. <laughs> so we had to, we had to throw a, an exit strategy yeah. in and make sure we stuck to it. So yeah. then we did. So, no, I don't think, I think, uh, I think, you know, like we did a lot of research in the design and stuff and, and uh, executed it. And, uh, there's anything beyond this would not be planned and so right. you don't want to get caught up doing yeah yes. absolutely you can, i mean you could really spend a lot of money on this one. And, yeah uh, ivan tampy down in los angeles for example does uh was in touch with him a few times and uh, an amazing corvette designer but you know i can't you know buy all carbon fiber it just yeah. so out of hand yeah and it, I mean, it's definitely a, a weight saving, but the Corvette's fiberglass to start off with. So, I mean, really, yeah. how much do you save going carbon fiber? I don't know. I, I I was trying to, you know, do what other people weren't, and so I yeah. so I stayed away with carbon fiber and dipping and that sort of thing. And yeah. I left the interior stock. I mean, Corvette's C7 interior and C8 interiors are already fantastic. They are. So really, you know, we didn't want to change anything that was already really well working. That's made it a little more aggressive looking. That's Absolutely. Great. And you enjoy it, which is all oh my important. God, yeah. I can't believe I own it. It's just, if you'd have told me when I was 16 I was going to have this thing at 60, I would have went, no, no, no chance. <laughs> well, that's the thing. So, it's a prime example there. It's never too late to get your car. There's no, always opportunities right. in the future. Yeah, that's right. I, I did have a, a, my name in on a C8 and they called. Yeah. And uh, I couldn't. I, I was just so in love with this one. And not, not that there's anything wrong with a C8, I would have yeah. totally pulled the trigger on it. But as we started, Customizing this, we started falling more and more in love with it. So yeah, now it's stuck with us. We'll hand it down. Perfect. Yep. That's excellent. Thank you so very much for your yeah, time. You're welcome. I appreciate it. It was very nice to meet you. Thank you. You as well. Glad uh, glad you enjoyed the car, and I hope everybody else that looked at it today did too. I'm sure everybody has. That's all you did it for, so everybody else could enjoy. Yeah, I'm sure everybody's enjoyed your car a lot. Good. Thank you so much. You're welcome.